Get those bikes all sorted out. Uh, make sure everything is uh, organized. You've got the tires at just the right pressure. 15 minutes yeah. to the start. How you feeling? I don't know what to expect. The there is no mapping, so we need to follow the and arrow. The so it's going to be not stressful, but Canada. you have to be attentive. They didn't tell us anything about the new 30 kilometers, so uh, could be crazy, could be fast. And the end is very technical, Canadian so I'll have to be smart about who I want with me at the end. It's going to be a lot of strategy involved. All riders into uh, your corrals as soon as possible. To a sweet civil uh, play. Hey guys, welcome to the Paris to Lancaster race recap. Only problem is I don't remember anything, so um, this is gonna be different. I had a concussion yesterday, so I hit my head at 3K from the finish. Actually, things were going not pretty well, they were going okay. I was limiting the damage, I would say. So um, I had a problem with my shoes. So I'm not sure what happened, but this came like super loose at like 30k into the race. It was getting looser and looser. So as you can see, like, I mean, it's it's not even like, it, it was on the verge of, uh, of falling off. So I was actually using half of a leg and uh, I was using my left leg a lot. So I was like pushing a lot with my right leg, but I couldn't pull and I couldn't stand up. So uh, that for sure made it less ideal, I would say. So as soon as I realized that I had a pretty big problem with my pedal, I waited for the next really technical sector and that's where I made my move. So uh, I just went to the front and hold, I don't know how many watts for how many long, but made it as hard as possible. And at the end of that sector, we were only three guys. So it was me, Michael Van den Heijn, and a guy from uh, Toronto Hustle. So from then on, I was just pretty much committed to working with Michael and the other guy, because I guess I was still going for the win, but I was like, at least if I can just battle those three guys, it's gonna be better because I knew that I couldn't stand up. I knew that in the technical sector, having just one feet stable would make it harder. And the other thing is that when a cleat is loose like that, you cannot unclip uh, the pedal. So I was like kind of stuck in my bike in some section. You kind of have to run. So on those sections, I was like kind of pushing my bike like I was on a skateboard like this. A skateboard. Um, so yeah, so we work pretty well together. Me and Michael were working. The other guys was not working at all, but me and Michael rode. We actually like took a pretty big gap and uh, from then on, it was just the three of us battling for the win. The end was pretty much a cyclocross ra race. So uh, it was like super muddy downhills, really technical. And it was like that for the last 10K. So I knew that my chances were not ideal uh, with Michael, but I was kind of confident still because it was still finishing on top of a hill. So once we entered that uh, super technical sector, the first one, Michael crashed out of his bike. I was actually doing the one push of a leg like that, kind of save myself, but I was really struggling uh, with the pedal and my knee was starting to hurt. And uh, then we kind of turned right into super fast, but super technical Daniel, so no mud for this one. And Michael was able to get back on us. And uh, then you entered the really that last sector. So the way it's, it's, it is, it's like a one kilometer climb and uh, it starts in a single track and it ends on a gravel climb. So half of it is single track, the other half was a gravel climb. So Michael entered that sector and I was pretty confident. I was like, if I can keep an eye on him, I'm confident I can maybe catch him in the uphill. And uh, we were going very fast up those sector. And uh, I think I made the error of, I don't know, uh, trying to really not lose any times uh, during that sector. and. We arrived, there was like a, a tree on the ground that big in the pre-ride, I bunny up it, but uh, I try to bunny up it and I don't know if it's if it's the pedal or something, but my rear wheel didn't make it over the tree. So uh, let's say that's my bike and that's the tree. 
So I bunny up it, normally you would do that, and I did like this. And uh, I called it to fall into my face and from then on, uh, <laughs> I don't remember anything. Uh, I feel like I remember like a flash of white light. And after that, I guess I walked my way to the finish. I was like uh, 40th or something, so a lot of people passed me. But I guess at least I was able to walk. I don't know if I was on the ground for a couple of times. Like we had a three minute gap. So by the time the other guys catch us, I think I was still like I was already walking. I kind of remember one or two face during my walk. That's actually funny, but I don't remember anything else. Like there's pictures of me talking with people, not even at the finish line. And I, I don't remember those, uh, those moments at all. So yeah, right after we finished, we made it fast to the ambulance and we made it uh, to uh, to the hospital and we did all the tests, CT scan, uh, they check your vitals, I guess, and uh, they check a lot for bleedings and uh, everything was okay. They were just scared because it was still a high speed that they call accident and because I, I, I broke uh, my, my glasses, so it was a pretty big big shot I guess for for the head so they look at it and the, the, because I didn't remember for at least 30 minutes that was also a sign that was not good but all the tests are good and today actually I, I don't feel that bad I have a little headache but it's not that bad I didn't present the helmet officially so I, I guess that's a good time to do it unfortunately I will not be riding this helmet anymore because I, I crash it it's the new helmet by uh, Shimano I've been riding it, you probably see it in the, the picture for the last two weeks. Uh, I can't wait to have another one because, I mean, this helmet looks fast, looks great, is very fast. You can see the testing online that they did on it. It's a crazy fast helmet. And it has those special uh, entrance for the air. So it, it almost looks like there's an helmet in one helmet. And that, when the air goes in, it, it creates a flow of air that stays in the helmet and that's supposed to like cool you off and keep you cool and I don't know I, I didn't like ride in crazy hot weather uh, yet with this helmet but so far uh, I've never been hot actually like look at this so the way the laser helmet uh, works is that normally you have your your roulette and they, they thought a way to make it super aero so your roulette is here so it doesn't create any drag of air and it's not you know a normal roulette normally you have like here and it creates like a pressure point at the front and the back of your head but this roulette just like squeeze in all your head hopefully I'll, I'll get a new one soon don't forget to always have your helmet and have a proper helmet if it's an eight years old helmet I think yeah you should maybe revise if there is one piece of equipment that can save your life is this. So uh, yeah, that's the race recap. Big congratulations to Michael, he raced so good. I mean, he knew that the end was tailor-made for him being from cyclocross and he raced hard. He was attacking from the start. So uh, congrats uh, Michael on that win, enjoy it. And uh, sorry to, uh, to everyone that was there at the end or during Paris to Ancaster, if I talked to you uh, I hope I was not an asshole or anything because I don't remember our conversation and um, I hope I, I would have the op opportunity to enjoy the after party and see everyone but uh, that's life so um, yeah next plan is going to uh, BWR San Diego I was actually supposed to fly directly from Toronto to San Diego to go pre-ride the course uh, a lot this week and really uh, see what's gonna happen there and um, finally I changed my flight so now I'm flying on Thursday if everything is well so I'm seeing my doctor on Wednesday and we'll see if uh, I can uh, give it a go if not it's gonna be forced uh, recuperation so I'm uh, gonna find a way to make it good anyway so um, thanks everyone thanks for following um, and I'll see you uh, in the next video and in the meantime take care of yourself bye making the most optimal choice in every moment and do the same take care of the ones you love Bye.